ready to rock and roll. <laughs> on this episode of Nation Untamed, we're on the shores of Hudson Bay in northern Quebec. During the most important time for the Cree community. We enjoy doing this. Our culture is still very strong here. On a hunt for their traditional food. Oh, my God. Oh, my goodness. Many of us have lost our connection to the natural world. <laughs> That's amazing. Cut off from the ways of the land that defined our ancestors. There we go. Yeah. Along with my old man, I'm on a quest to reclaim these forgotten skills. You gotta learn how to be fast. Together, we'll explore the wild and learn from the rugged few determined to keep these traditions alive. And this is the joy of it right here, fellas. This is what it's all about. I live in the city. We see geese everywhere, in the parks and in the ponds. At best, we treat them as selfie backgrounds, and at worst, they're itching for a fight when you get too close. Mostly, we just ignore them. But in the indigenous lands way up north, it's a different story. Me and my old man Chuck are taking the long journey to see what that's all about. We've flown to the village of Wapamagusti, Quebec. From here, we'll be going to meet the Masti family at their camp on Hudson Bay by helicopter. When was the last time you were in a helicopter? Uh, in my dreams. <laughs> <laughs> it's a spectacular 20 minute chopper ride to the Masti's remote camp. We're coming for the biggest event of the year. It's even bigger than Christmas. It's called Goose Break. Hey, welcome to our camp. Yeah, this is gorgeous. This is nice. Your camp is that one right yeah. there. That's going to be yours. Melvin's entire family is up here for Goose Break, which is their annual traditional goose hunt. The geese are returning after a long winter, and many Cree people return at the same time. They come to reconnect with the land and with each other, to fill their freezers with food for the coming year, and to honor the life-giving gifts of the goose. Our culture is still very strong here, so everybody still practice the tradition a lot. You're keeping your culture alive, why is that so important to you? It's, I guess it's to pass on to my kids. And uh, we enjoy doing this. This is our, like it's been generations that's been happening, the goose freak. Up here, it's a big moment for every Cree child when they catch their first goose. A rite of passage in becoming an adult. When a kid catches his first goose, we give it to an elder and uh, we have to cook everything, and then we have a small supper, like a feast. We have to include a cake and everything, and we have to finish the goose when we, the first time they catch it. <laughs> I can't wait to go out on the land with them and see if I can get my first goose. Not knowing what to expect, we head out on the land to the hunting blinds they've made on the shores of Hudson Bay. I think one of the coolest things up here is like the landscape, because you've got like the boreal forest, end of the tree line. You've got like what looks like sand dunes, which is crazy. Then you've got the ocean, and you've got almost like these little mountains kind of surrounding us. So it's like kind of a combination of like every really cool landscape you can have. But in an instant, our journey comes to an abrupt halt. Melvin is off his ATV with his shotgun. I don't know what's going on. 
Then I hear the geese. They're flying right toward us. Melvin is perfectly situated behind a tree while I'm on the ground in the open, trying not to be spotted by the geese. At the precise moment, Oh! I don't have my... Holy Melvin! You, you move graceful for a big fella. <laughs> While I'm still composing myself, Melvin points over to where his son Samuel is. Holy shit! That's a good start. <laughs> my heart is still pumping as Chuck picks up Melvin's kill. Hey, look at that, eh? They're a big bird. They got a lot of meat on that guy. Before we move on, what do we do? We kill our geese. Melvin shows me the traditional protocol he follows to honor the goose in the Cree way. It's to respect the animal. We tie the um, okay. wings together like that. James Quabbit Senior told me. Uh, Long time ago, that when the animals used to talk, like the geese, he said, if you kill me, I want you guys to tie my wings yeah. out of respect. Yeah. So that's why I tied the wing. I love how everything is like, the, yeah, no matter what community you go to or where, yeah. you know, whether it be Inuit or Cree or, or whatnot, there's always this, these really good custom, you know, yeah. and everything's done with respect. respect. It was amazing to watch Melvin and his son move with such skill. We have two geese, and we haven't even reached the blinds yet. I hope that means I might get my chance soon. This is it, the southern shores of Hudson Bay. There's geese right there. Melvin's family's traditional goose hunting area. Samuel lays the decoys out they'll help attract geese flying overhead, encouraging them to land. I can't help notice how lifelike they are. Do you ever shoot your own decoys? Yeah, we yeah. do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They're very convincing. All right, let's get to our spot, and okay. Chuck will stay with Sam. Okay. Using pine branches, Melvin builds a blind behind some small trees. Our hideout, so approaching geese won't spot us. He could come from anywhere, any direction. <laughs> We're ready. We're ready. <laughs> now it's a waiting game. We'll settle in to scan the skies. This is our new home? Yeah. <laughs> I can't wait. I'm eager to try to get my first goose. In the meantime, I consult the expert. So what's the crash course on this guy? It's good too. Oh, okay. But safety. Where's the safety? Right there. You push it in. Red's ready to fire? Yep. Okay. So you just pull back on that lever? Yep. Okay. So it's kind of the firing position. Yeah. You just, just, just pop up and... Yeah. We'll let you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <clears throat> no geese in sight. That's the thing with hunting. You don't know if the geese will come at all. For the Cree hunters, it's a time to enjoy the land and each other's company. When did you start goose hunting? Since I was five. Yeah. This is where my son caught his. His first. When he shot it, it did a backflip and it died. <laughs> <laughs> If I fall asleep, just give me a slap in the back of the head. I'll let you know if they're coming. <laughs> but the peace and quiet doesn't last long. Ah, nish, nish, nish. Shit. Squish, 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 squish. I want to spring into action, but Melvin knows better. Don't move, get ready. Just, just, get ready. Just don't move. 
We'll wait until the geese are closer. <laughs> then I get the go ahead. I get into firing position. My heart is pumping. I let off a shot. But the goose is still flying. I try to steady myself and take aim again. On the shores of Hudson Bay with Cree hunter Melvin Masty, we're on his family's annual goose break. Geese are in our sights. My heart is pumping. And I'm about to have my first crack at getting a goose. Did I just hit that? That's a lot of shooting for one goose. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. <laughs> In the chaos, I'm not sure, but Melvin knows. You shot it first, yeah. so you're the killer. <laughs> so you got oh, your I goose. I got my first goose. Yeah, <laughs> you got your goose. <laughs> what a burst of adrenaline. Who made the last shot? I'm not sure. The result <laughs> still hasn't sunk in. I think I got it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got it first, so technically you're, you're the killer. I'm the killer. Yeah. I'm still amazed I got one. I'll bring it to you, it's steep. <laughs> so Melvin retrieves my goose. So, your first goose. Holy cow. You didn't have to wait long. And it just, <laughs> just one came in, just like that, <laughs> man. Yeah. Holy. Just remember what I taught you? Yes, with the, the so wings. I, yeah. So I put her down. Because this is my first goose, I now get the honor to tie its wings. But first, Melvin removes one feather and puts it in its mouth to mark the goose as mine. First thing we'll do is take this off. So we'll know that it's yours. <laughs> take it, take and you start breaking it like this. Same thing with this one. This guy here? Yeah. You break it. And you're tight. <laughs> As I tie its wings, I feel connected to the land and to the animal and gain a real understanding of the respect it deserves. Your first goose? Yeah. It's a young one, just like you. <laughs> well, that didn't take long. Yeah. We're lucky. You got it. So when we go back, you give it to. My mom, my mom is the elder person, so yeah. she'll prepare it for us. Good shooting. Yeah. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. Yeah, that's adrenaline going a bit. Yeah. <laughs> but this isn't over. We still have a long day of hunting ahead of us. We quickly go from a lot of action to a lot of waiting. A couple hours have passed, and nothing. Geez, is that a goose? It looks like flies like a goose. There's no, two. no, no, that's a seagull. That's a seagull. The one's a seagull. Oh, I guess, yeah, the yeah, other they're one's both, a seagull. They're both yeah. seagulls, yeah. yeah. Then, we hear geese in the distance. It works uh, really well. Melvin's son, Samuel, pulls out the secret weapon. I would never have thought to use a megaphone and recorded goose calls to lure them closer. He tries a shot, but they're too far. The neat thing that you guys like with the way you hunt is like, it's all the traditional stuff, but you're taking advantage of like modern technology. Yeah, yeah. Right? Cause like, why not? It's yeah. there, yeah. but you also have these like old traditional ways of dealing with the animals. Yeah.
With no geese in range, we're back to more waiting. How do you say uh, goose in Cree? Nisk. Nisk. Yeah, nisk. That's an easy one. The day has dragged on. Melvin feels it's time to call off the hunt. Suddenly, that's when things get really exciting. They never know if more geese will come, so they take what nature offers them. They're not hunting for sport. They're trying to get as many as they need to feed their families for the next year. Just like that. Yeah. Yeah. Five minutes, it all changes. I wade out into the cold water to retrieve a goose. But before I bring it in, I need to do a check to make sure it isn't carrying a deadly disease which would make it inedible. Is there foam around the beak? No, he looks good. What about the foot? I think he's good. That's how it goes, eh? I think it's just about to go home and there's a nisk. I can't say enough about how incredible it is to be out here, but it's time to go. I'm looking forward to preparing my first goose and the feast to come. I don't even think I've even ever eaten goose before. No? No. How oh, are you all today? Oh, yeah. Near the shores of Hudson Bay in northern Quebec. You shot it first? Yeah. So you're the killer. I kill my first goose during goose break a special time of the year for the Cree community. Hello. Yes. At the Masti family camp, I follow the tradition and present my first goose to the elders, Melvin's father Isaac and mother Stella. This is for you, sir, for letting us uh, on your land or on oh. your, your camp. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. And this is the first goose. This <laughs> <laughs> first goose. Thank you. Oh, wow. It was exciting. Yeah. Isaac checks to make sure I tied the wings, because treating the bird with respect will ensure future successful hunts. There's a very strong connection with the wildlife among our people. And that's why those kinds of protocols are very important to follow. If you break the protocols, then, then the harvest becomes a little bit more difficult. Mm -hmm. Since it's my first kill, the goose I shot will be boiled, as per tradition. The others are smoked around a fire. Here, Pasha, Melvin's wife, is in charge of the cooking. They're plucked, singed, scraped, gutted, and the final touch I never knew about. So after you gut it, we put the blood all over um, for flavor. <laughs> for flavor. <laughs> when the birds are ready, she'll roast them for about three hours over the open flame. While we wait for the feast to begin, Pasha offers me and Chuck an unusual snack. So this is goose stomach. Mm -hmm. 
There's salt if you want flavor. <laughs> Try it. The... Mm. That's great. Oh, I like that. It's crunchy. Yeah. <laughs> no part of the animal is ever wasted. When you share a meal like this, and you share it with everybody, even the littlest baby. My big moment arrives. The feast begins with a traditional prayer. Your first goose, number one. Number one. <laughs> that makes you a man now, a hunter. <laughs> I've been waiting a long time for to be a man. <laughs> I'm very proud of you. Oh, thank you. Very happy. Thank you. No, it was a, it was a, it was a cool feeling. It was a lot different than hunting a deer or, or something like that. So yes, was... yes. And uh, it's honoring, giving a good day. You never decline what's given to you in one day when you're when you're hunting. Scoop. Now that I'm a man, I have the privilege of taking the first plate of food and then the rest is shared with everyone. Who gets the head? Oh, I thought you were gonna go for the head for sure. Up here, I've come to respect goose break. To be out on the land, reconnecting with nature and with each other, and to be able to provide for your family and share these special times. There's nothing like it. Your first goose? Yeah. And I know, when I'm back in the city, I'll have a whole new respect for geese in the park.